thank you very much for having us down here. We both really appreciate it, and people in Ontario across the world really appreciate it. Ontario is a very unique province when it comes to animals. And there are some, uh, growing up, there are some valuable lessons that you can teach to children when it comes to pets. Absolutely. Pets. Ladies and on? gentlemen, welcome me to Animal House Radio, Carrie Ann Inaba. Carrie Ann, how are you? Not too bad, thank you. Thank you so much for joining Animal House Radio. It's, it's, it's a pleasure to have you on the show. Oh, thank you for having me. My um, publicist and I, at the beginning of this, or I guess about season three, which was about two years ago, we started talking about like what I wanted to do and what I wanted to get involved with. Gentlemen, in. Toronto, Canada, the millions listening across Canada and the millions listening across the United States, I welcome to you to Animal House Radio, the icon himself, Bob Barker. <laughs> Thank you. What can I possibly do or say to follow that introduction? Thank you so much. Bob, how did your love for animals begin? Well, I always loved animals. As I said, I grew up in that little town on the reservation. My mother and I, my father had died when I was just Down, six years old. And uh, our good friend Craig Downey from the Toronto Maple Leafs invited us to go and interview some Maple Leafs. And we had a great time. And this week, you know, we had a blast. We met some great players. We're going to go right now to Jason Blake of the Toronto Maple Leafs. I got a yellow lab that's uh, two years old. It's cost me about 15 grand. Really? Broke its leg. Well, it broke its leg when it was nine weeks old. The doctor's like, you can either put her down, amputate it. Ladies and gentlemen, joining us on the Animal House Radio, George Nori. George, how are you? Great, Aaron. Great to be back. What are some of the things that you've experienced yourself as a pet owner? just starting to do the show for the network I was in my house I had bought a townhouse in St. Louis Missouri and I was in the basement just doing some repairs and some patch-up stuff I like to do that it's kind of fun I got to welcome you to the program Chip thank you very much for joining Animal House Radio hey Aaron Thomas how are you how are you my friend I am doing well I'm a I am actually honored to be on your show, sir. Um, first story about Caitlin, who is lying here, and when she hears me say her name, she'll wag her tail. <laughs> but Caitlin is a Kishu. She's an Asian hunting dog. An Asian? And you've got to rewind probably five years ago to a small town Ladies named... Ladies and right now we're going to play an interview for you on Animal House Radio, making their appearance. I read the script. I've, I've, I mean, I've gone through it from rewrites at least ten... 15 maybe times and there's a page that I hit every time and I just were so invested in this dog and in this the character I play is John Grogan. He's actually a columnist, and he does right. pretty well at that. But I think he kind of wishes he was more sort of like a Woodward Bernstein. And then even though he's, like, married and, you know, has this great... I think that dogs don't seem to look forward. They never look back. They just... Uh, convey that unconditional love uh, at all times, and and uh, they just wanna they just wanna On eat. On the hills, Lauren Conrad. Lauren, how's it going? I'm good. How are you? Um, we got her at the uh, the Los Angeles shelter. I can't remember exactly what the name was, but we got her at the shelter um, near us. And we actually, we were looking for a while, and we saw her online as a puppy. So we visited her a couple times, and then when she was ready to leave her mom, then we went and got her. 